we chose to walk at the water's edge to camouflage any tracks we made. So as we stepped down, the water came in and uh, took the track away. Looks like the tracks carry on over this way. From there on, it was very, very easy tracking. Had the wind been blowing the other way, it, there wouldn't be a track there to fall. We could lope along at a good speed, and uh, we made up a lot of ground there. I thought I heard a horse, but then again, I'm deaf, my right ear, so. Nicola spots man tracker. The reality of the chase hits home. We saw the horses uh, uh, cut around the corner there, and, uh, and, and that just sort of changed our plans a little bit. And uh, we thought we may have been spotted, so we thought we'd best get off the main trail and uh, try something a little bit different. Once they got up high, we, we couldn't track them. We had to rely on seeing them. They scale a jagged cliffside where they know man tracker can't follow. Horses, they're not made for going through that heavy rock. It's hard on their feet. Uh, the horses do have a hard time with rocky terrain. After tackling the vertical slope, the prey suddenly hit a wall. The 42-year-old hunter is breaking down. We were definitely negligent in our uh, fueling of our bodies. Food-wise, uh, we were running straight on adrenaline. We're gonna take a cool down here. Things just started to go wrong for me. They just started to go all wrong. Just, I, I just totally zapped for energy. It feels like it's my heart, that's what's, that's what's bugging me. He's relying on, on his basically body mass for fuel. Nothing with any carbohydrates, nothing for any fuel whatsoever. Man, I didn't feel good. Something's wrong, something's wrong, man, something's wrong. Something's serious wrong, I never felt like this before in my life. Like, do you think you're gonna have a heart attack or something? 